So we don't usually give studios accolades here. We're pretty critical of them. I'd be first to admit it. Uh, however, credit where credit is due. So Paramount Studios put out Mother. Um, we did a review for that. Obviously, it's a controversial movie, to say the least. Yes. Uh, in fact, it even got an F cinema score from the masses, the unwashed masses, if you will. <laughs> so Paramount decided to address that. Uh, they made a little trailer, about 15 seconds, um, basically saying in a nutshell, you know what, go see for yourself. Um, and I gotta respect that, you know, I mean, they're not gonna make money on this, that wasn't their intention, they're just standing by their director, standing by the work, right. so kudos to you guys. Okay, so no need to buy Cult of Chucky on Blu-ray, uh, looks terrible? like it's going to be, well, <laughs> that, and we don't know, but we'll probably watch it, um, but it's going to be streaming on Netflix. Oh. So, um, as it's supposed to be available to purchase on October 3rd, right. um, it's probably going to be on Netflix short after that. So why, you know, we've talked about this before, yeah. um, these companies that are releasing these movies and yet you're right. able to watch them on your streaming services. So yeah. what's the point, honestly, you know? I don't know how they're making money. Yeah. Genesis of the Impoverished, decided to show collectibles, has struck yet again. This time they have actually gone and made it personal. That's right, they have released an absolutely gorgeous, stunning Cthulhu statue. Oh Your my god, favorite. yes, it's him coming out of the ocean, there's a boat, a lighthouse. The detail, as with all the sideshow collectibles, is insane. It even has like details on his back. I mean, it's just like, ah, but it is not a big old, ah, as the price tag. $699.99 for this wow. bad boy. Okay. Um, yes, well, a lot. it's a lot. I mean, I can do, I can think of a lot of cool shit I can get with $700. Now, yeah. to be fair, SciShow Collectibles knows its audience. As such, they're offering a payment plan yeah, <laughs> for $78.75 a month for eight months with a $70 deposit, blah, blah, blah. Either way, it's intriguing. So if you guys suddenly see a giant Cthulhu statue here blocking us, do not be surprised. That's for you, Sideshow Collectibles. Okay, so nothing major, but the director has tweeted an image for the upcoming Godzilla movie, King of the Monsters. Um, again, this is not that big of news, but he insisted that I bring this up. All right, as you guys know, I do not like found footage movies, with one glaring exception. That is found footage 3D. Uh, description below, we've got a link to our review, even a Q&A with the director, well worth a watch. They finally answered the question, why the fuck don't you just put the camera down? Anyways, I, I digress. The point I'm talking about it is, is finally, after over a year, it's getting released. Uh, now, right. it's not getting the theatrical release that I wanted and that it deserves. Um, actually, our good friends at Shudder, of all people, are picking it up, and as an added bonus, um, October 26th is when they're going to air it, and they're going to air it in 2D and 3D Ooh. version. <laughs> so, you got the set, you got the projector, you got the glasses, you owe it to yourself to watch Found Footage 3D on Shudder, October 26th. So it is now the highest grossing R-rated horror movie ever. Uh, and richly deserved. Yeah, but um, not adjusted for inflation. Oh. We are talking about these classics here like The Exorcist, which was well over 980 million. Wow. And even yeah. Jaws, which not even R-rated, no. but that was over 1 billion. Oh. Well, the It movie is only at a 230 million. Okay, so, so it's, it's good. But, it's, but it's not there yet. Not there yet. Yeah. All right. So it was a full news day. <laughs> All right. That one's going to be retired. We've done that one to death. <laughs> so let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, like and subscribe to the channel.